What's cracking guys, Omar Esau here, back with another video. In this video today, we're doing a full how to clean and jerk tutorial. I got the man himself, Clarence in the house. Clarence, how you doing? I'm doing good. I see right here you got, yeah, we're show, dude, you're showing off some muscle here <laughs> because the clean and jerk, you did the snatch before, a full tutorial on that. Now you're gonna take the clean and jerk, break it down step by step. What is or what are some of the major differences? Like what separates the clean and jerk from the snatch? Well, the clean is actually uh, very similar to the snatch in that like it has the same pulling mechanics. The only difference is um, the front rack position and of course uh, the jerk. Okay. Yeah. And so guys, sit down. This is a longer tutorial. It's probably going to be anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. So sit down, enjoy yourself, watch the whole damn thing. If you like these tutorials, make sure to like the damn video and also follow Clarence on his YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So the clean and jerk is a two part movement. Um, the first part is the clean. Um, this is a lift onto the shoulders. And then the next part is the jerk overhead. So it's from the shoulders to overhead like this. Okay, so in the clean, um, you have to do a front squat. So in a front squat, you need to learn how to do a front rack position. It's not like uh, what bodybuilders usually do, where they cross their arms. You actually need quite a lot of like wrist and shoulder mobility. So I'll show you what it is. It's just like this, um, elbows up high, and the bar rests on your shoulders. Like many people think that it rests on the hands like this, but the, uh, like the hands are just there for support, really. Um, some lifters, they catch it with their fingers like this, some catch it with their fingertips, and some lifters catch it with the hook grip. Um, me personally, I catch it with the hook grip because I'm mobile enough to do it, but for most people, it's just gonna be open hand like this. Yeah. So just to really show you that it's actually resting on the shoulders um, in the front squat, um, you can actually do this exercise called a zombie front squat, so which you, like it's where you have your arms on front like this, and you just squat down. Just like this, see? Your hands are just there for support. It's, the bar is really resting on your shoulders. So the stance split in the front squat is gonna be pretty similar to your back squat stance. So um, in the snatch, um, the goal really is to squat down as deep as possible. But with the clean, you want um, a very powerful stance. Um, so you can't really catch it wide like this. Of course, you'd be, you be able to catch the bar lower, but the problem with a stance like this is that it'd be a very weak position to stand up with like huge weights. And that's the uh, main thing with the clean. Um, it's, it's more of a strength exercise compared to the snatch. So in the front squat, you just have your rack position. Most people have an open hand grip like this. You just find your stance like this and then slowly go down, just like this. You may pause at the bottom and stand up. So side view. And when you're going into the front squat, you don't really directly go down. You don't just break at the knees like this. You want to just tilt forward very slightly at the start. So just like that. And stand up. You don't want to stay directly upright like this. You want to just lean forward slightly. And the first drill you really learn is a thing called a muscle clean, which is where you just basically stand with the bar like this and then slowly pull the bar close and into the rack position, just like this. So you want to keep your elbows up pretty high. So I'll show you from side view. A shrug and then rack position. So the goal in this drill is to really try to bring the elbows up as quick as possible. When you rack. The next thing you want to do is just like in the snatch, um, the extension. So in the snatch, you do the extension with a snatch grip, just um, above the knee like this and up to here. It's the exact same thing, just a clean grip. So just like this. Except uh, with this, uh, the contact is the middle of the tie instead of just above the pubic bone. So the next drill is kind of similar to the scarecrow you did in the snatch. So with, sna or with a clean grip, spring into your hips, pull, hold it here, and then jump into the catch position. Just like that. 
So from the side. Just like that, into the rack position. And remember to try to bring your elbows up as quick as possible. So the next drill is just basically combining what you learned and doing it at a quicker speed. So this is just called a hang power clean. So just from above the knee, just bring it down here, and then extend and catch it in the rack position. Just like that. And again. And when you do this, try to extend as hard as possible. So from the side. So the next exercise you want to do is the hang full clean. So it's basically the same thing as the hang power snatch, but this time you drop into the front squat position. So from above the knee, extend, catch, and then go into the squat position. And just like the snatch, I recommend when you first learn this to catch it in the power clean position and then slowly ride it down. And then over time, gradually speed that up. So the next exercise you want to do is the power clean. So um, you did the hang power clean already, so just add the first pull onto that. So what you do is you find your starting position, like your starting stance, uh, keep your hips low, deadlift it, and once it gets to mid tie, that's when you want to speed up and do the extension. So clean deadlift, extend, and then go into the catch position. Just like that. And if you're finding difficulty with that, then just do the previous drills, um, such as the hang power snatch. So the next thing you want to do is just the full clean from the floor. So go into your starting position again. And just like in the power clean, you want to extend as quick as possible, bring your elbows up as quick as possible. But this time, catch in the power position and then ride it down into the full squat. So I'll show you. Catch it here and then slowly go down. And then just like the, the hang full clean, um, you can just gradually speed it up. So you, you can do it faster, right into the squat and stand up. It takes quite a lot of time to learn how to really drop down to the front squat. Um, so just spend time you know, doing a power clean and then slowly ride it down. So on the clean, um, in the front rack position, I'll show you. You're gonna have the bar just resting on your shoulders and your elbows are gonna be up pretty high. You catch it at the bottom especially, they're gonna be high. And when you stand up, it's high. If you watch some weightlifters, um, after they finish the clean, they pop up, they readjust, and their elbow position, it lowers slightly. And like for the jerk rack position, you kinda of want the bar a bit more in your hands. So it doesn't have to be a tight grip. You just don't want the bar to be resting on like three fingers or two fingers. So you want the bar Resting, just on shoulders, and your hands want to be wrapped around the bar just a bit more. So the next thing you want to do is the strict press. So just as I was explaining, um, your elbows just want to be slightly lower than the front rack position for the clean, so they're around here. The bar is just resting on your hands a bit more. So just slowly press up, and then once it gets to this point, you want to bring your head through, just like this. So from the side. Just like that. A mistake many people make is they just press up like directly above their head. They never bring their head through like this. Like the goal should be to try to bring your elbows behind your ears just like this. And the bar should be really in line with your torso when it's overhead. So uh, the next thing you would want to try is just to practice uh, just a split position. Um, you don't even have to jump into the split position, just walk into it. So basically, you just want to have your shin perpendicular to the floor, and you want your back knee unlocked. You don't want to keep it uh, fully extended like that, and you want to go on the balls of your feet just like this. And you want it it's wide enough so it's comfortable, so you can stabilize the bar overhead if it goes to this side, this side. So when you're recovering from the split position, you don't want to recover from the back leg first and then the front foot. Usually what you do is you step back slightly with the front foot, just like this, and then you take a bigger step forward, just like that. 
So maybe just practice that with your hands or your hips. Just walk into the split position. And just recover it like that. And keep practicing that. Just like that. So the next drill you want to do is the press and the split. So just bring the bar into the rack position. And just like in the surf press, just press the bar overhead, behind the head like that. And then just walk into the split position. Just like this. Hold it for five seconds or three seconds. And then slowly bring it back down into the front rack position. And then slowly bring it back up. Hold it. And keep doing that. Maybe um, a good set and rep range you can do is uh, five sets of five. I even do that myself when I uh, do a clean jerk session. Okay, so the next drill you want to do is um, the jerk balance. So what you do is you just bring the bar into the rack position and you go into a half split. So maybe just like around here and you press up and at the same time you want to throw this front leg forward into the split position. So just like this. And I'll show that with a bar. So just a half split, and then throw out the front foot, just like that. And notice how my, my shin is just straight down to the floor. So the next thing you want to try is a push press, um, but before you learn that, um, I'll go over the dip and drive. So just go into the rack position, and in the dip and drive, um, you just dip slightly like this. You try to go down directly straight. You don't want to lean forward any bit. So in a front squat, you would lean forward slightly when you go down. But with a dip, it's just straight up and down. So you just break up the knees and back up. OK, so the push press um, is just basically a combination of uh, the dip and drive and the military press. So. Do the dip and drive, drive up as hard as possible, and at the end of the extension, press with the arms and keep extending. What you don't want to do is drop under the bar. So this is the push press. Just like that. You do not want to drop under the bar like this. That is called a push jerk. With the, with the push press, the main goal is to really just drive as hard as possible and then press at the top. OK, so the next exercise you want to do is this exercise called the power jerk. Um, this is very similar to the push press, except the main difference is you drop under the bar. So I'll give you a demonstration. So front rack position, dip and drive, press as hard as possible, and drop under. So just like that. So when you're comfortable with all those uh, previous exercises and drills, um, you can move on to the, just the regular split jerk. So the bar in the rack position, do the dip and drive. And similar to the power jerk, you want to drop under as quick as possible. But this time, jump into the split position. So just like this, dip and drive, catch, hold the split position for two seconds, and then recover. It's a good idea to hold the split position for maybe two seconds just to strengthen that overhead position. And once you master it, you can kind of drop that. So, so just to combine the two lifts, um, the clean and jerk. So first the clean. Stand up, readjust, bring your elbows down slightly, have the bar wrapped around your hands a bit more. Step in, do the dip and drive. Catch it, hold the split position, and then recover. Just like that. And that's it. That's the danger. Well, guys, that is the video. That is all the time we have. Clarence, thanks for being on. No problem. Dude, what, like any parting words because this was a full tutorial, maybe be patient when it comes to the clean and jerk for those watching? Uh, like I say, spend most of your time learning the snatch. Um, like once you master the snatch, it'll be very easy to learn the clean and jerk for sure. Yeah, and, and so I'll, I'll just say, 
Right now, if you leave a comment uh, below, Clarence will try and answer as many questions. Bro. Make sure also to subscribe to his channel. Let's get him to 100,000 subscribers. At 100,000, what are you going to do, bro? Uh, maybe 100,000 calorie challenge, maybe? 100,000 yeah. in one day? Maybe. You think you can do it? No. <laughs> Or die trying, bro. Maybe a hundred thousand pound clean and jerk, dude. You just yeah, gotta, might be possible. yeah, just change yeah. Earth's gravity a little bit. It's, yeah. it's, it's not that weird, it's not that bad. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.